When I was in high school, uh, we tried to start an LGBTQ support group, and our school administrators told us that that was too controversial to have on campus. It wasn't easy, and a lot of it was bullying, and it was hard, and just kind of standing up and telling people, like, no, this is who I am, and that's okay. I went to college um, with this activist attitude that I'm gonna change the world. At the time, that, that was really, really challenging. I was one of two out kids in my entire school uh, at the age of 16. I came out to a, a big team. There was a, there was a morning we had like a meeting booked and everyone was like, well, what is gonna happen at this meeting? I said like, mom, gay. And she looked at me and she was like, like stupid, you think I didn't know that? And she just had this like smile on her face. I'm going to this college because it's rated the number one gay unfriendly university in the nation. When I got there, we started off with a freshman orientation. There was this whole like activity where we'd all like find a shoe and then find the girl who had the other pair of the shoe, like Cinderella kind of, kind of thing. And I immediately was like, oh gosh, they're already like pairing us up like we're going to prom. This very <laughs> heterosexual straight prom. Why did I come here? Why did I think I could like change something this big? And I just told folks like, hey, this is what's this is what's changing. And I was waiting for the for the world to end there or for people to ask like awkward questions or whatever it was. And no, actually there was like applause and hugs and reserving a bar for that night. <laughs> uh, which was like wildly counter to what I expected. She knew all along, and she was waiting for me to feel comfortable with who I was first. I had a friend in high school, and he had been out and proud for a very long time. Um, and he uh, was very open about it and very much like, let's go do gay stuff, and I'll teach you all the gay things. And I was all like, oh, I'm so on board to learn all the gay stuff. But he really stuck by me, and I probably <laughs> definitely would not be here if he had not been there and kind of helped me through that. Yeah, that was very that was very connective. Like people people wanted to wanted to know me. Uh, there's never going to be one clear path or clear answer to you know how it's going to get better, right? Um, I think it's important to recognize that you really need to be kind to yourself first, uh, and you really need to focus on on you first. Freshman orientation was obviously a big experience for me where I realized that I wasn't exactly a part of the normalized crew there. So I talked with the freshmen, um, the freshman leaders who are in charge of orientation. I told my story. I told them about how I felt so ostracized and different. And it worked. I was surprised, <laughs> but it worked. I just kept putting myself out there and eventually I got to where I needed to be and the student groups there started um, our own student, queer student group at the university and started changing things. When I had all of these catastrophic thoughts about how coming out was gonna go for me, like the worst case nuclear apocalyptic scenario that my life is gonna be completely cratered by this thing happening, um, when I look back at that years, you know, from what is now years in the future, uh, I can say that some of those things happened and, and some of them didn't, and some surprising good things happened and some surprising bad things happened, but I wouldn't make a different call. I think every single one of those bad things could have happened and I would still feel like I made the right call. Keep looking forward. It's gonna be hard and it will be hard for a while and Sometimes it's not hard, but sometimes it is, and it's really hard, and people don't really understand that. Um, but just keep looking forward. There's a lot out there. There are communities. There are people out there who want to talk and meet you, and they want to know you. People that make you feel whole and complete and the wonderful person that you are are the people that you want in your life, and you uh, should seek them out. The last couple years have been really great. <laughs> I met an amazing girl. She really kind of got me thinking about life and where that goes and where we could be. And last year in January, I asked her to marry me. We're gonna get married next year. <laughs> Things do get better and you will find something out there that 
is more important to you than the feeling of people not accepting. Know that there are people out there who are willing to help, and whether it's your friend circle, your family, uh, a company you choose to work for, a group that you choose to take part in, there are people out there that you can connect with. For every one bad person, there are probably 10 more great ones who are willing to accept you into your life. You just have to find the courage to put yourself out there. And I know that that may not be possible for a lot of folks. So I would suggest to find the time that's right for you, but recognize that you're gonna be so much stronger and more beautiful and fabulous. <laughs> I believe in a world where hope outshines fear. I commit to stand up and speak out against hate and intolerance. My support for LGBTQ youth will be steadfast. I am part of a global community that is proud and resolute <laughs> in its effort to create a brighter and more inclusive world for all people. I know it will get better.